Hello, good afternoon, Jocelyn. How are how are you? Good, very good. All right, good. Um it's good to see you. It's good to see you. It, it's good. It's good to see um, you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In Spanish, we say, Que bueno verla. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How, how was your Thank you. How was your day, Jocelyn? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Sí, más o menos. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just ready in the group. I'm ready in the group so that everybody. knows that we have started. All right, good. So you had an okay day? Only okay? Justin, your, your day was okay? Sorry? Your day was okay? My day? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your day was okay? Más o menos, okay? Yeah, nothing special? You, you didn't, you I'm didn't, bad. you're tired. Really, why, why are you tired? Why, why are you? Oh, you have lots of things to do. Lots of things to do, Jocelyn. Yes? Mm. Sorry to hear that. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for connecting on time, though. Uh, we appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to start with our class. Unfortunately, not very many people have connected, but I'm hoping that they will connect later. So, do you remember, Jocelyn, that we were talking yesterday about um, about uh, means of transportation? Do you remember? You were talking about transportation. Yes. What what um what transportations do you remember? What are some words, vo vocabulary, you remember? What do, what do you remember, Jocelyn? For example, we have take a bus, right? Take a bus, walk. Mm -hmm. What else? It, your, your microphone is closed, Jocelyn. Your microphone. Microphone. So, micrófono. Oh, se me olvida. No siento. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh huh. So, do you remember it from yesterday? From yesterday. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which ones? Which ones? Drive. Huh? Drive. Drive, okay. Yes, very good. Either the taxi. Um, yes, take, take a taxi. Train. Which one? Train. train. Train, take a train, yes. Uh-huh. What else? Mm -hmm.
What other ones? Subway. Hmm? Subway. Subway? Okay. Motorcycle. Okay, ride a motorcycle. Yes. Very good, ride a motorcycle, excellent. Okay, very good, very good. So today, Jocelyn, we're going to be learning about the family, the family, okay? Oh, we have more that are coming. Okay, we're just gonna say hi to Guillermo there. Hello, Guillermo. Welcome, Guillermo Nesto. Hello. Hello, welcome. Hi. Hi, Guillermo. How are you? Fine. How are you, Guillermo? Good? Fine. Me escucha. Guillermo, ¿me escucha? Guillermo Ernesto. Voy a revisar ahorita mi audio. Estoy ocupando más libros. Ok, ok. Eh, si me escucha, podría también revisar eh, su nombre en la plataforma. Que ahorita solo aparece como Guillermo Ernesto. Necesito. Ok, perfecto. Ok, bueno. gracias. Okay, so we are going to right now, um, we're going to be checking, sorry, we're going to be learning about the family. Can you see, can you see the PowerPoint? Sorry, the, the screen, can you see the screen? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. Okay, so here we're going to be learning about the different family and the possessions of the family. Okay, it, so we are going to start with Paul and Anne. Okay, so Paul got married to Anne. Okay, they got married. Dun, dun, da, dun, 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 dun. They got married. Okay. Um, so Paul and Anne are now husband and wife. Do you know husband? Oh, Justin, do you know husband? Guillermo, do you know husband? Yes, I know. Huh? Yes, I know. What is husband? El esposo. Esposo. Very good. Excellent. And if if Paul is the husband, Anne is the wife. What is wife, Jocelyn? My esposo. Huh? Esposa. Esposa. Exactly. Very good. So, so Paul and Anne, they got married, right? So they are husband and wife. Now, Paul and Anne had babies. Okay. Their babies are called children. Or informally, they are called kids. Okay, kids or children. Kids is informal, children is formal. Okay, so Paul and Anne had children or kids. Okay, and 
they became parents. Okay, they became parents. Okay. What are parents? Well, parents are father and mother. To what together father and mother make parents. So what is father? What is father? No, father. What is father? Padre. Huh? Padre. Padre. Very good. And mother? Madre. Madre. Exactly. So together, father and mother are parents. What are parents? Father and mother. Padre. Parents, what, what was that, Guillermo? Padres, exactly. They are padres, okay? So, father, so Paul is the father and Anne is the mother. Together, they are parents, okay? So, a, Paul and Anne. They had two children, one, two children. What are children? What are children? Children? Huh? Children? What is children? Niños, exactly. O, o hijos. Okay, hijos. Okay, so they had two children or two kids. And they had one is the son and the other is the daughter. So what is son? What is son? Hijo. Hijo. Good. And daughter? Daughter? Hija. Exactly. So, so we have a son, hijo, and a daughter, hija. Okay? All right. Now, the names of the son, the name of the son is Jason. The name of this daughter is Emily. Okay? The name of the son is Jason. The name of the daughter is Emily. Okay? And the and Jason and Emily are the children. They are the children. So Jason is the brother. What is brother? Herman. Hermano. Hermano. And what is Emily? Hermano. She's a sister. What is sister? Hermano. Hermana. Um, very good. Any questions about that? No questions. No questions? No question. No? No. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so now some words that um, we have to know. Kids is the, the, the 
informal. The formal is children. Mom is informal or short. Mother is more formal. So it's longer. Okay. Okay. Then we have dad is short and informal and father is long and formal. Okay. So, uh, so what, how would you say mom in Spanish? How would you say mom in Spanish? Madre. Madre. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Mom would be more, more like mama. And mother? Madre. Huh? Madre. Yeah, yeah. So madre. Madre. mom is mama and mother? What is what is mother? Madre. Madre, very good. And dad? Dad? Papa. Papa and father? Father. Padre. Padre. Exactly. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Excellent. Got it. Okay. Bravo, everybody. Uh, por cierto, Guillermo Ernesto um, está teniendo problemas con su cámara. Oh. Okay. Eh, pero uh, pronto va a, lleg va a llegar a algún lugar o algo así? Ok, ok, perfecto. Cuando cuando llegue ahí puede usted um, eh, encender su, su cámara. Ok. Perfecto. Ok, muy bien. All right, any questions? No. Ok. Now let's let's look at the the possessions here. Anne is Paul's wife. So Anne is Paul's wife. What does that mean? Anne is Paul's wife. What does that mean? Anne is Paul's wife. What does that mean? Uh huh. Anne is Paul's wife. What? Tell me in Spanish. Ana es la esposa de Paul. Ana es la esposa de Paul. De Paul. Very good. Exactly. Ana es la esposa de Paul. Okay. Any questions? No. No? No. No questions. No questions. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I want you to complete this information according to the picture. Okay. Um, momentito. Vamos a ver. Okay. I'm going to send you first the picture. Uh, okay, so first I'm sending you the picture. Mm 
Please, okay, hold on. We're gonna stop sharing. I think it's easier if I stop sharing. Okay, do you see the picture? Yes, you see a picture? Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm going to... Um, send you also the exercise. Please tell me if you can see the exercise in the chat. You see it? Yes. Teacher, what you say? What you say, hijos? How do you say hijos? The question is, how do you say? C can you ask the question again? How do you say hijos? How do you say hijos? You say children. Children. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Any other question you have? No. No? Okay. No. All right, very good. Okay, so right now I want you, um, I think I'm not I'm going to keep you in the same group. I'm not, I'm not going to put you into breakout rooms because there are not enough of you. Okay, so just do it individually and we will check the answers. Okay, so complete the exercise. Eh, Edwin Vladimir, ya no lo vemos. ¿Es porque está en WhatsApp o? Sí, estoy en el WhatsApp. Es que me intenté conectar de la computadora, pero no pude. Mm. Entonces estoy desde el teléfono, pero okay. ahorita estoy en el WhatsApp haciendo okay. el ejercicio. Okay, no, por problem. no problem. No problem. Okay. okay.
Okay, tell me how much time do you need more? Are you almost finished? Yes, finished. You're finished, Jocelyn? Excellent. Okay, very good. Edwin, you're finished? Yes. Okay. Guillermo, are you ready to check? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, very good. Let's check then. Okay, so we have, we know for sure Anne is Paul's wife. Then we have Jason and Emily are there. Jason and Emily are there. Brothers. Mm -mm. I you said Jason and Emily son sus? Sus que? Children. Children. Very good. Jason and Emily are their children. Son sus hijos. Okay. Paul is Anne's? Anne's what? Can you say that? Can you say it a little bit louder? Lo puede decir más duro? Husband. Paul is Anne's husband. Very good. Husband. Jason is Anne's. Um. Son. Son. Excellent. Son. Emily is Paul's daughter. 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 Good. Jason is Emily's brother. Brother. Very good. Emily's brother. Okay, Emily is Jason's sister. Sister. Emily is Jason's sister. And Paul and Anne are Jason's parents. 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 Not parents, but parents. Okay. Yeah, very good. Bravo, excellent guys. Very, very good. Okay, so repeat after me. Wife. 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 Children. 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 Husband. Husband. Son. Son. Son, yes. Daughter. 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 Yes, very good. Brother. Brother. Father. Brother. 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 Mm -hmm. Brother. Sister. 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 And parents. 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 Okay. Very good. Excellent. Bravo. Okay. Excellent. Any questions? No question. Okay. No question. I want you now to think about your family. What about your family? I want you to write sentences about your family. 
Make a family tree. Create a, 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 a short family tree similar to this. Do you know what is family tree? Do you know family tree? Yes. What is family tree? My wife, my son. Uh huh. How do you my call? Foreign. What do you call family tree in Spanish? Repeat, please. What is family tree in Spanish? In Spanish. Spanish. Uh, mi, mi, mi papá. No. Y mi mamá. Family tree. What is family tree in Spanish? Uh, árbol genealógico. Árbol genealógico. Very good. So I want you to draw a simple family tree for you, for your family. Okay. Okay? And then okay. write five sentences about your family. Okay. Okay. Okay, how are you doing? You don't, you don't have to make a big, long family tree.
four sentences. Five sentences. Five. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, you ready now? Yes? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, yeah. so I need you to share with the class. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm going to stop sharing here. And I want you to share. So we'll start with, um, Jocelyn, can you share your sentences? Just can you actually? Can you can you um uh, show the picture and then share your sentences? Okay, can you show the picture? Cinco uh -huh. Share the 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 family tree. Share the family tree. The family tree, Jocelyn. Huh? Uh huh. The family tree. Share it. Show it to us. My son. No, 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 no. Show it. Show it to us. Enseñelos. Show it. Queremos verlo. El que el árbol genealógico. Mm. Okay. So let's okay, so now tell us the sentences. No, 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 no. Eh, ense, mientras ustedes lo están enseñando, nos va a decir las oraciones. Okay. Mm. No sé si está al revés, poner de frente. Estamos viendo así como estaba. No está al revés. Estamos bien, enséñelo. Okay. Yo no veo. Ok. My. My. Este, busqué sobrino y me tiraba como. Nephew. Mm -hmm. Okay. My son, my mother, my sister, 
in my problem. Okay, good. Now tell us the sentences. Ahora sí. Comparta con nosotros las oraciones. Ok, eso sí no, no lo voy a escuchar bien, o sea, no, no escuché. Eran cinco oraciones por cada uno. Ajá. O sea, de su familia. Ajá. Ok. Ángel is my son. Uh -huh. My brother is funny. Uh -huh. My mother is tall. My nephew is short. My sister is elegant. Oh, okay. But here we want to talk about who the people are. For example, uh, I uh, what what did you say was your son's name? What what is your son's name? What is your son's name? Your son. Name. Yes. What is your son's name? Angel. Angel. Okay. So you would say, you can say, for example, Angel is Jocelyn's son. Okay. Or, or, or Jocelyn is Angel. Exactly. Angel's mother. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But let's do something. We're going to continue with other people and then you are going to share. Okay. After you can make sentences. Mientras escuchamos los demás, haga las oraciones. Okay. Then we're going okay. to listen to you. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's continue. Uh, Edwin. <laughs> Alba, Alba is Edwin's wife. Edwin is Alba's husband. Alexis and Ethan are Alba's children. Alexis is Ethan's brother. Eh, y... Perdón, Edwin, es que ese como lo está moviendo, casi eh, bien difícil verlo. So, okay. okay, ahí manténgalo sin moverlo. Ajá, perfect. Ok, ajá, continue. Y, uh, uh, Alexis is Ethan, brother. Mm -hmm. Ethan is Edwin, son. Ok. Very good, bravo. Excellent, Edwin. Good for you, okay. All right, and then I think Guillermo. Guillermo is next. Guillermo Ernesto. Yeah. Uh, uh, right now I'm gonna play uh, the sentence. Uh, uh, in life because of okay uh, so edwin and uh, kenmo do you have the picture did you make a picture no i don't have a picture because i don't have paper because i am out of my house okay no problem okay whatever you have so i can say uh, for example valentina is guillermo uh, daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, Marcela is Guillermo's mother. Felice mm -hmm. uh, uh, is Guillermo's father. Uh, okay. uh, Esther is grandmother. Esther is Guillermo's grandmother. Uh, Carla is uh, Guillermo's wife. Okay. So, okay. Uh huh. 
So it's all over. Okay, is that it? Only yeah, that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. bravo. Excellent. Very good job. Very, very good job. Okay, all right. And welcome, uh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Sumara. Welcome. Hello, uh, your microphone. Uh -huh. I start. Hello, hello. Hi, Jacqueline. Aquí me estoy incorporando ahorita. Hi. Very good. Well, welcome. Welcome. It's good to be able to to have you. Okay. It's, it's good to have you. Good to have you. Yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Good to have you. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, we are going to continue um, with the rest of the class. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, so right now we're going to be talking about simple present statements. So when we're talking about what somebody is uh, like a fact, something that somebody always does, or it's a known fact. Do you understand what is a fact? Do you know fact? Do you know fact? Yes. Yes, what is fact, Jacqueline? Mm -hmm. Fact is my father, my father. No, yes. fact. In the chat. Do you, do you mm -hmm. know fact? Sí, sí. Fact. What is fact? Mm -hmm. Yes, un hecho. Un okay, hecho. un hecho. Mm -hmm. So when it's, it's a routine, or a fact, we use the simple present, okay? For example, okay. we can say, I walk to school. You ride your bike to school. He works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. They use public transportation. Okay, so, I walk to school. How do you say I walk to school in Spanish? I walk to school? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so we use walk. You ride your bike to school. Good. Tu montas tu bicicleta. A la escuela. Good. He works near here. He works near here. He works near here. What does it mean he works near here? Él trabaja cerca de acá, de aquí. Exactly, very good. He works near here. Mm -hmm. Good. She takes the bus to work. She takes the bus to work. What does that mean? Ella toma el bus para el trabajo. Good. We live with our parents. Ellos viven con sus parientes. Ellos. No. Ellos. What is we? We live. What, what is we? Okay. Hmm? Okay. We? Nosotros. Nosotros. Live? 
vivimos. La, vivimos. So, nosotros vivimos. Vivimos con. ¿Con? ¿Con quién? Unos parientes, our, creo que. Our parents. What are parents? Acabamos de aprender esa palabra, parents. Hermano, este padre. Padre. So, we live with our parents? Nosotros What is that? Vivimos con nuestros padres. Very good. Vivimos nosotros, nosotros vivimos con nuestros padres. Very good. They use public transportation. Ellos usan el transporte público. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Now, everything with all the other, with all the verbs, you only have to add. So you only have to use the verb in the base form. No change. So we say, I walk, you ride, etc. The only difference is with the verb, with the subject he and she. We say works. And this one takes. Okay. So with he and she, we put an S after the verb. That's the difference. Do you understand? Simple? Did you remember when the rule about the use of that in the word, in, in the verb? Sorry, Guillermo, I didn't understand your question. No sé cuál es la regla para usar ese en el, en el verbo. Okay, so for he, she, and it, you put an S. Okay, that's the rule. All the other subjects, it's just the verb in the original form. But for he, she, and it, we use the S. Okay, that's the rule. Everything, everything else, I, you, we, and they, we put the verb in the original form. Only for he, she, and it, we put an S. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, I almost do. Yes? Good. Okay, good. Now, that is for affirmative. For negative, the negative, is, the verb is always going to be the same. So, the here case, live, live, work, drive, live, need. It's going to be the same all the time. The only thing that's going to change, what's really going to change, is the auxiliary. So for all of you say don't, I don't live far from here. You don't live near here. He doesn't work downtown. She doesn't drive to work. We don't live alone. They don't need a car. The only one that is different is for he, she, and it. We say doesn't. You see that? Does that make sense? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? yes. So, 
For he, she, and it, in affirmative, we put just an S. That's the difference. For he, she, and it, in the negative, we put doesn't before the verb. Okay? Everybody understands? Is that pretty clear? Any questions? Teacher, uh, in the negative sentences, um, in the word it, uh, you say it doesn't. Yes, exactly. Doesn't for he, she, and it. Oh, okay, thanks. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> Any other questions? It's all clear? Yeah? I, I saw so. You think so? All right, don't forget that don't is short for do not, okay? Don't forget that don't is short for do not. And doesn't is short for does not, okay? All right, so okay. what I'm so what I'm gonna ask you to do, you're going to look at this this paragraph, two well, two paragraphs, and you're going to decide which of the verbs is the correct form. So for example, in this one, my family and I okay, right here. Right here. My family and I, we have two choices, right? We can say either my family and I live or my family and I lives, okay? And we chose live. They, we, is, is, Okay, do we understand what we're doing? Yes. Okay, good. So I'm going to send you this in the WhatsApp group. Right. Writing. A question, this is, this is ejercicio. ejercicio. Why you say ejercicio? How do you say, not why, how? Why? No, how, why how, is for How do you say it? Yeah. How, do you, how say it? do you say Exercise, you say exercise. Exercise. Yeah. The exercise is, is in the book. Yes, it is in the book. Mm -hmm. Acuérdense que sí es um, su responsabilidad, chicos. Todos tienen que bajar el, el manual, ¿verdad? Eh, pero le estoy facilitando ahí las cosas, mandando ese ejercicio. Okay, so I'm going to put you into breakout rooms so you can work on this exercise together. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah, okay, good. All right, here we go. I'm opening the rooms right now.
personas utilizan eh, el, la conjunción S luego del, del verbo. Por ejemplo, en my family no es el, la tercera persona. Entonces, por eso ocupamos el live. Live. Uh -huh. Sería my family and I live in support. My wife and I work near her. Es work porque no es tercera persona. Acordemos que las terceras personas son he, she, it. Uh -huh. Y hay que confiar en eso. we, nosotros vamos a ocupar we work. To work. Our daughter, Emily. Estamos hablando de la hija de Emily. Ya es ella. Ahí sí tenemos que ocupar el works. Works. Work. Downtown. So she, como es tercera persona, drives to work. Our son es, es él también. Entonces ahí ponemos doesn't drive. ¿Y eso lo vamos a copiar o lo va a preguntar ahí? Ese es, digamos, un ejemplo. Si quieres el segundo, me ayudas tú. Venga, te empecé a oír bien, bien extraño. Hoy sí, ya, ya escucho de nuevo, creo. ¿eh? ¿Podrías hablar? No, así es que... A ver qué le pasa a esto ahora. ¿Ah? Sí. Vale, dime. Ah, que no, no, no te escuchaba. Sí, eh, me desconecté los, los auriculares. Yo creo que yo soy el que tengo el problema por los, los audífonos inalámbricos. Ah, pues ya estaba lo mismo. Ya me los quité porque como que no... A una sala alterna, ahí como que se me desconectan. No, yo creo que... A saber, ayer pasaba lo mismo también. Yo creo que si no es el... el Zoom, no sé qué será. A ver, pero lo, lo pone mudo. Y terminemos el, el último ejercicio para, para que lo quedemos bien. My parents. Si me ayudas ahí. My parents. Y ¿Qué son mi... my parents? Con ellos, ¿verdad? Con ellos. Sería live. Tiene que ser live. Live. In the city. My mother. She uh, stays a train to work. Uh -huh. My father is retirado, no sé cómo se dirá. Retired. So he... ¿Cómo es? Retired. Ah, retired. My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. Hey, deja ahí eso. Uh, work now, work now, work now. He owes, eh, uh, uses. Also. He, he also, uh, uh -huh. he also uses public transportation. Public transportation, so they, uh, don't need car. Exacto, así es. Ahí vamos. Ah, pues sí, entendí. Estamos listos. Bien. Gracias. Ok, so you guys are ready? Bueno. Yes. You guys are ready, ok. Perfect. I will see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay.
Okay. All right, guys and girls. We're going to be checking the answers now. So please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, no. You see it? Yes or no? Yes? Okay, perfect. So we know it's my family and I live, right? My family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I... Work. Life. Work near here. So we... So we... Okay, that's the one I want to put again. So we once work. Sorry, walk. We walk to work. Our da our daughter Emily Our daughter Emily work. works to work works downtown so she drives drives to work she drives to work mm -hmm. our son our son no doesn't doesn't drive okay our son doesn't drive he rides right. he rides his bike to school he rides his bike to school good all right next um Okay, now it's number number one. Let's do number two now. My parents live. 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 My parents live in the city. My mother dates. Takes a train to work. Takes. My father is retired, so he <laughs> so he doesn't That's... work now. He doesn't work now. So he uses he uses public transportation. Sorry, he also uses public transportation, transportation so they no. so they no. don't. They don't need a car because it's they. It's plural. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes, Antigua? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. All right, excellent. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, very good. All right, let's go on to the next part. Do you see my screen? You see my screen? Yes, I saw. Okay, very good. So what we saw is for regular verbs. Regular verbs, we add an S for he, she, it. And for the negative for he, she, it, we use doesn't. And for all the other verbs, 
we just use don't. Sorry, all the other subjects we use don't. Okay. But here we're going to be talking about irregular. Okay. Irregular. What is irregular? Yeah. Irregular, exactly. Irregular. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are some irregular verbs? Some irregular verbs are, for example, have. Okay. Uh, with I, you, we, and they, you say I have. So you say I have, you have, we have, they have. Okay. But for he, she, and it, we say has. For example, my father has a car, she has a car, it it has uh, food, okay, et cetera, et cetera. Uh -huh. Has. What is have in Spanish? Yeah. Tener. Tener. Okay, good. Now, also do is irregular. Okay. We also use do, it's irregular. And with I, you, we, and they, we use do. So we say, I do, you do, we do, they do. Okay? But for he, she, and it, we use does. Okay? So my for my mother does, he does, it does, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? What is do in Spanish? Hacer. Hacer. Exactly, hacer. Very good. Okay, go. Go is another irregular verb. In Spanish, what is, it, what is go? Ir. Ir, exactly. So with I, you, we, and they, we say go. So my parents go. You go, we go, they go, okay? And for he, she, and it, we use goes. So we say, um, he goes, she goes, the bus goes downtown, et cetera, et cetera. All right, any questions about this? Questions? Okay. All right. So here we're gonna we're gonna be doing this activity, this exercise letter B. We're gonna choose the same like before, with the regular uh, with the regular nouns. Sorry, the, the regular verbs. We're gonna be choosing the correct verb. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing and send this also in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Please tell me um, if you can see. You see it? You should be able to see it. Yes, you see it? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to send you with your same partner. I'm going to send you to the what's up, to the reduce the the breakout rooms and you're going to do the exercise, okay? All right. So here we go. Let's open the rooms. Thank you. 
Yo le voy a decir que me agrega. Mándamela. Porque... Sí, ahorita no me Mándamela porque no me ha caído. Yo le voy a escribir a ella que me agregue. Entonces. Ya lo cayó. No le escucho el audio que está desactivado. Lo mismo tiene que lo traduzcamos, ¿vale? Sí, coloquemos la palabra. Mis padres tienen una casa en software, no sé qué significa software, por ahí me pierdo. Mis padres, mis padres tienen una casa en el no sé super, no sé qué es super. Los suburbios, pero que ¿Ah? En los suburbios, en el suburbio, pero que es un lugar. Suburbio es un lugar, ¿verdad? No, no, suburbio se refiere al que no ya es matido. Ah, ah, pues una casa lejos. En los suburbios. Y se dice, mi madre tiene una casa en el suburbio. No se pierde. Y no se pierde. No se Se dice, mi madre y mi padre, dice, my mom, mi madre y mi padre. Doctor, eso tampoco ahí, esta palabra no sé, porque tu word es como el trabajo. Tu word es el trabajo. Doctor. Es que ahí, doctor, andar, eso no dice, porque no es, anda solo de uno, es tú, y cuando habla de varios, es tú. Esto, ahí está, dando Dice, my parents are very birthday so hard. Y es tú, tú sé. Porque ya habla de tu padre, ya es de dos. My parents are very busy. Hay dos cosas. Hay dos cosas. Ajá, ahí es 12, porque habla de dos, habla de dos padres, y ahí ya, ya no es solo uno, porque son dos. Entonces, cuando ya habla de, ya habla de en plural, ya son de 12, ya se le agrega la S. Y ahí la otra dice: My brother, 12, we, we, Have, tiene un apartamento, ahí es have, 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 un apartamento en, en, have, 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 es have. Dice también de go, go to school, school, dice he, go, porque es solo uno, es go. Porque dice él, él, él dice va a la escuela, um, has day, uh, has day, uh, y la oficina de trabajo. Va, él va a la escuela en el día y va a la oficina por la noche. Entonces, ahí es. Y tú, tú escuchas a dar y de dos en office por andar. Y ahí donde dice hi, ahí es hi, how. Ajá. Ahí está. Él tiene un nuevo amigo. Yo y se llama Jason. Yo tengo. We, we do, I go. Uh, I have. I have a yo, uh, tengo. yo tengo un nuevo amigo. Y... Uh -huh. I have, yo tengo. Nombre I have. Jason. Yo tengo. Y su nombre es Jason. Dice, we go, go. 
school. Say school. Esa parte si no le entendí. We go. Ahí es go. Ahí es go. Send a school and some de veces, de, de, a veces dicen, hace la tarea con el hermano. Together, no. Con un grupo de amigos. Es un grupo de amigos. Dice, we go. Dice, to, to send a school and sometimes we hold on the work together. Dice, él va a la escuela, uh, a veces uh, hace la tarea. Okay. ¿Qué pasó con los demás compañeros? Sí, che, le quiero mm. decir algo. Ajá. Este, a mí no me han agregado en el grupo de WhatsApp. No sé si me puede agregar. Eh, no, de hecho, uh, para poder entrar al grupo de WhatsApp, eh, tiene un enlace que oh, sí. está en el correo electrónico. El correo electrónico que le mandaron, ¿se, ¿se acuerda ahí? Uh -huh. Ahí están todos, ahí ¿Sí? le aparecen todas las acreditaciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, el, la, okay. la reunión de Zoom. La, el, el enlace para, para lo, ver los videos de YouTube um, y también está ahí para agregarse al grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces yo les sugiero que okay. entre desde su celular para que se les sea más fácil. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, está bien, okay. gracias. Perfecto. ¿Alguna otra inquietud que tengan? Okay. Ninguna, quizás. Ok. Perfect. Let's check the answers then. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's check. So Ashley's um, talking about her family and her friend Jason. Uh, complete the sentences and com compare with a partner. My parents have a um, house in the suburbs. My mom and dad Go. My, Go. Okay. Remember, my mom and dad are two people. Okay? It's two people. So it's plural. So, my mom and dad, it's plural. Go. Go. It's go. Because it's two people. Okay? Um, do, you, do you understand why, Jacqueline? So, it's plural. It's they. My mom and dad, it's they. Okay? Okay? So my mom and dad go downtown to work. My parents are very busy, but I, sorry, so I, sorry, so I, do, good. 
I do a, a lot of work at home. I do a lot of work at home. Oh, good. All right. Excellent. Okay, very good. Jacqueline, una pregunta. ¿Están practicando ahí para, para el 15? Ahí cerca de su casa, que, que escucho como que... Sí, sí, sí. Están, están practicando para el 15. Ok. Sí, wow. Qué alegre, qué, qué alegre el, el, el vecindario de Jacqueline. Ok. All right. Ok. Uh, next. My brother doesn't live with us. He... He has, not he has. have, he has, because it's third person singular. He has an apartment in the city. He goes, he goes to school all day and he and he does office work at night. He does office work at night. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Sorry, Jacqueline. Sé que están bien alegres en su en su vecindario. Okay. All right. Number three. I how have I have a new friend. Um, his name is Jason. We go. go, we go because it's singular. Sorry, it's plural, sorry. We go, we go to the same school and sometimes we do, do. we do our homework together. Just a moment. Okay, all right. Questions? Do you have any questions you want to ask? No. No? No tienen preguntas? ¿Estamos claro? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so we're going to clear. And clear it. Okay. All right. Um, do you see this conversation? You see the conversation? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, so here we go. We're going to practice this conversation between Jack and Amy. Listen and repeat, please. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the park. Right. Okay. Todos juntos. Quiero asegurarme que todos lo entiendan. Okay? All right, let's continue. What time do you get up on Sundays? Let's go. What time? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. My mistake. My mistake. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's, but let's go in the afternoon. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. I sleep late on weekends. 
I sleep late on weekends. I sleep late on weekends. <laughs> what time? I sleep late on weekends. Okay. What time? What time? What time? What time? Do you get up? Do you get up? On Sundays. On Sunday. At at ten o'clock. At ten o'clock. Oh, that's early. Oh, that early. Everybody. Oh, that's early. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. On Sunday, I get up at noon. On Sundays? On Sundays. I get up at noon. I get up at noon. Good. Do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? Then? Mm -hmm. Then? Then? Sure. Sure. Todos, todos juntos, chicos. Ay, no escucho, solo escucho como una o dos personas. Sure. 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 I have breakfast every day. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet up. And then let's meet up. Yeah. At this restaurant. At this restaurant. At one o'clock. At one o'clock. Everybody, at one o'clock. At one o'clock. Good. They serve breakfast. They serve breakfast. All day. All day. All day. Very good. Bravo. Okay. I'm going to get you guys to practice this conversation in pairs. Um, I'm going to send you again the conversation in the WhatsApp. Okay, do you see the conversation? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. I'm going to ask you then to practice this conversation with a partner, okay? Here we go. Let's open up the rooms right now. You're gonna take turns being the two people, okay? So one time you can be Jack and the other time you can be Amy. Okay, let's open the rooms. Vamos a repetir la conversación, ¿verdad? 
Why can Why can do you get get up on Sundays? At ten o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat break, breakfast thing? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve service breakfast all day. All day. Como se decía cambio, twist. Okay. ¿Cómo se decía cambio? Twist. Cambio. ¿Sí? No, no sé. Creo que twist. Bueno, hoy empieza usted. Change. Sigo yo. Ah, change. Change. Uh -huh. Change. Change. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Ok, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do, do you get, do you get, get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, you get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then, then let's meet at restaurant at one o'clock. This they serve breakfast all day. Y en español. ¿Y en español qué significa todo eso? Vamos a ver, vamos al parque mañana. Ok, dice. Pero vamos en, en, la, en la tarde, creo que dice. ¿De cuándo? I sleep. I sleep late on the weekend. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa eso? Okay. Do you have questions about the pronunciation of vocabulary? No. No? It's all clear? Okay, good. You probably noticed that in this conversation, we talk about uh, questions. We use questions. That's what we're going to be looking at right now. So please tell me if you can see. Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So for the questions, we always use. Okay. Si quieren pueden apagar los micrófonos para que podamos eh, todos escuchar sin ningún distractor. Okay. 
All right, so for questions, we always begin the question with do. Do you get up early? Do they drive to work? And if that's only though, when the subject is I, you, we, or they. So notice, do you, do they. But in this case, we have he. When the subject is he, she, or it, then we use does. Does he? So, do you, does he, do they? Okay? Now, we have to also use the verb in the base form. No change. So, you say, do you get up? Does he have? Do they drive to work? Okay, so the verb independent of the subject has to be in the base form. Only change do or does. Only. Okay. Does that make sense? Do you understand? Yes. Yes. That would be question. Um, that would take question. Um, okay. So no, me... right, right, right now, solo ahorita solo estamos viendo esta parte acá. Ya vamos a ver esto. Pero ahorita yeah. only this part. Okay. So, when we want to ask a yes or no question, we start with do or does. Do you get up there early in the morning? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does he have lunches at noon? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Do they work? Do they try to work? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes or no questions. Okay. So, the answers are going to be no or yes. Okay. And of course we say no he, no I, no they. So we always use the subject. And notice that the verb is always going to stay the same. Get up. In this case, eats. Because it's he, he eats. This one, dry, because it's they dry. So we're going to use the same structure that we learned before. So if it's he, she, it, we put an S. If it's I, you, we, or they, nothing. Original form of the verb. Okay? Is that clear? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. So that's yes or no questions. Now, we also have information questions that start with, for example, what time? Okay. Or when? What is what time? Que horas. Uh -huh. Que horas. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. But the 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 structure is the same. Do. Okay. Do. Do. 
And in the case of he, she, it, does. It's the same. You don't change the idea. The subject is you here, then goes the subject, he, they. And the verb has to stay the same. Get up, have, or drive. Okay? Any questions? No. No questions? Recomendación para los compañeros que no tengan pena, si algo no hice las dos preguntas. Si no después van a quedar con la duda, si más adelante van a entender más. That is true. It's better to ask now. So to make it simple, we're either going to use do or does. Okay? It, if you're going to use do, it's because the subject is going to be either I or you or we or they. If we're going to use does, it's because the subject is going to be he, she, or it. Okay. After that, After that, we have the verb, okay, in base form. So it means no change, no change at all, okay? And if it's necessary, if it's necessary, you don't have to, right? But if it's necessary, then we can add a compliment. Okay, so far so good? Mm. Yeah, and if it's a, if it's a information question, we're gonna add the WH question word or phrase. The WH question word or the WH question phrase. All right, sounds good. Any questions about this? You can ask the questions now. Porque después, como decía anteriormente, entro a los grupos y dicen, mira, yo no entendí nada. Tú entendiste. So now is the time. Ahorita pregunten. El compañero muy probablemente no le va a poder responder todas sus preguntas. Entonces mejor pregunten ahorita. No le pongan tanta presión al pobre compañero. No. No. Okay. So just keep that in mind. This is the structure. Okay, any questions?
No podía mandar esa factura. Mm. Okay. All right. So, um, mm -hmm. okay. So what I want you to do right now is now do this part here. Complete the questions with do or does. So these questions here, we're going to use do or does, and then you're going to write four more questions. Now, just take into, a con into account that we can use these time expressions like early, late, every day, at nine o'clock, at noon, at midnight, at night, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sundays, on weekends, on weekends, and on weekdays. Do you understand weekends? Fin de semana and weekdays? Weekdays? Weekdays. Mm -hmm. What are weekdays? Días de la semana. Good. Okay, so I'm going to send you also in the WhatsApp, I'm sending you the exercise and I'm returning you to your group so that you can do the exercise with your partner. Okay. Okay, let's open the rooms right now. Ya vamos a aprender. Bye. Vamos a ver. Quiero ver. Dice, do you get, do you get, get out early on weekend? What time? Es, do you, do you home? Es, do, do, o es, doesn't? Porque es a un, una persona. Do you? Es you. What time do you home? Eh, una tercera si es da. Porque es ella. Sería do es do. Do you? Model work. Y en la dos, ¿cuál había dicho? Es tú. ¿Cómo? 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 La cuarta. Cuatro será tú. 
Father is para las demás personas. Así es. Entonces, eh, para, el, para el ejemplo, eh, ejemplo uno, como estamos hablando de, de tú, eh, tú, se ocupan el tú. When you get up early on weekend, eh, entonces, eh, en la número dos dice, what time, siempre estuvimos hablando de you. Para esta persona, or do you go home? Y ahora llegas a la casa. Eh, hasta la ceiba no me parece más difícil de lo más tiene que ser una más y de ahí llega hasta donde pueda y llega completo de ahí eh, dice sabe que Dígame. tengo un problema es que no tengo la captura porque este no estoy en el en el en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp pero sí entiendo este, lo que usted me está explicando, sí, sí lo entendí desde que lo está explicando ahí. Pero, pero, pero ese es el problema, que no me, no me este, todavía no me he enlazado, al, pero ya lo voy a hacer cuando termine la clase. Ah, no, cuando se enlace, uno le va a caer eso, uno que no lo tiene. Cuando termine la clase, enlace. Sí, pues sí. Sí, porque... Cabal, pero que la próxima okay. se haya contestado. Eso va a ser. Ajá. Bueno, entonces, básicamente, es estar lo que está en el Time Station, en el cuadro que tiene la par. Si no se lo puedo eh, compartir, quiero ver si lo puedo compartir. Okay, let's check the answers, everybody. Um, can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. All right, perfect. So do you get up early on weekends? What time? Actually, hold on. Wait, wait, stop, stop. And some, perdón, chicos, for you. Voy a hacer lo mejor de acá. Creo que va a ser mucho más fácil. Ok. Ok. Um, ok, so, do you get up early on weekends? What time? What time? Good. Do you go no. to work? To what? What time do you go home? What time do you go home? Next. Uh huh. That's your mother. That's work. good. Does your mother work? Does your mother work? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. How? That's your father got to work. Good. How does your father get to work? How does your father get to work? Next. Your parents. 
Do Morning. your parents read in the evening? Do your parents read in the evening? When? Do your parents go shopping? When do your parents go shopping? Okay. And here you can pretty much ask any question. Example, just an example. What does? Uh huh. You can say, for does example. Sorry. Does uh, using the same text expression or another word? And so we have to use the subject after that. A question, mm -hmm. example? For example, does your sister live with you? Does your sister live with you? Example, what time? For example, what time do you start work? Example, what time do you start work? Example, do do what? Another idea? For example, do your friends have a car? Do your friends have a car? When? When what? An idea? When do you go? When do you what? So when do you? Go. Go. Go what? On Sunday. When do you go? To church, maybe. When do you go to church? Cuando vas a dónde? Yes. Okay, it could be to church, for example. So you're creating questions. When do you go to church, for example? Okay, these are some examples of what you could write. There are many, many possible answers, right? But these are just some of the many. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Bueno, chicos, we're going to finish there today. Uh, when is our next class? When is our next class? Yes. When is the yes. next class? When? Yes. yes when? Is. When? When is our next class? Um, when? Um, Nadie se acuerda cuándo es la próxima clase. Friday, no Friday. Mm, nope. Si no me equivoco. Nadie se acuerda cuándo. Nadie se acuerda cuándo tenemos la próxima clase. Me parece haber visto que el otro viernes o sábado. Saturday. If I'm not mistaken, it's next Saturday, okay? Um, solo déjenme confirmarles. Yes, next is, so it's going to be Saturday, uh, September 16th. Saturday, September 16th. El 16, okay? Entonces tenemos la clase el próximo okay. sábado. Eh, acuérdense que ya tendrían que haber terminado unidad 1 eh, 
sí, la unidad 1 y 2 para, para la próxima semana. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita? Yo creo que el próximo fin de semana van a estar revisando no. más o menos. Ok. Bueno, entonces solamente, bueno, tenemos entonces a Guillermo Ernesto Quesada, Edwin Vladimir Gutiérrez Telule, Jocelyn Guadalupe Quintanilla Polanco y Jacqueline Xiomara Menéndez de Morán. ¿Algún otro de sus compañeros? No sé, habían más ayer. No sé si saben qué va, habrá pasado con ellos. No, no, no saben. Ok, bueno, tal vez si los ven durante la semana, les hacen el recordatorio que vamos a tener clase el sábado, ok, para que se conecten, ok. All right, guys, to take care then and see you next okay. Saturday, ok. Yeah. Bye bye. 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 Bye.